G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad and thanks for tuning in to another episode. Well, winter is well and truly here. That water temperature has plummeted and obviously the outdoor temperature is pretty cold as well. But you know what? It's a good time to be out fishing. There's less fishing pressure and you can catch those bread and butter species like your squid and your flathead and your whiting in really good numbers. So today we've ventured out to Port Phillip Bay be fishing with my good mate Mick and we've got exactly those bread and butter species on our target so we're gonna have a great day out here we're gonna target a whole range of stuff and hopefully get into a few cracking fish to share with you anyway guys sit back and enjoy the show Snook, snook. Big one. Do you want to grab the net? Yeah. Did you eat them? First cast on the soft plastic, no mate, but it's a good size one. Oh, that is a good one. This is where that you're gonna to have to be quick because they just shed leaders, these guys. These snook or short fin pike, they are certainly around in good numbers at Port Phillip Bay at the moment. This one actually chased the soft plastic, which is called that Purple Death Z-Man minnow. And that uh, it actually chased it down right at the boat. And uh, some pretty good size ones kicking about. So pretty interesting catch. And as we've always pointed out in the past, just watch those teeth, because they are very, very nasty. And these guys, they um, their power is in bursts. So they'll go pretty quiet, and then all of a sudden they'll have a big burst of power. So you just gotta be careful, and uh, we'll take that. Basically, go towards this one. That's it. It's a decent one, though, isn't it? Yeah, can you grab the net for that one? That's a ripper, Flatty. Sorry, mate. It's got those beautiful spots on it, too. Look at that. So, I think that's a dank flathead, those ones. Yeah, that's a, that's a real beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. That's a ripper. Well, there we go. Whilst the whiting's a bit quiet, that's a really nice fish. Beautiful flathead. Well, that's a bit of weight on that too, mate. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it feels so nice on that in feet rod. This is the spot where you get a lot of 50s flathead. The good size ones. That's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah. I reckon this is going to be a really nice fish. I'll get you the net in a second once we see a little bit of colour. Yeah. You've done, you've done well. Yeah, oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. That's a nice flathead. Yeah, it's a cracker. All right, I'll get you a net. How's it going? You don't want to be lifting that in feet. No. Yeah, that's, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah, there good. we go. Nice, mate. Now, fishing throughout winter can be tough. Obviously, it's pretty cold out there. So there's a few things that you can do to really maximize enjoying your time out in the water and obviously making it pretty productive. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously keep yourself nice and warm. So we both got on the really nice warm jackets, the beanies, the gloves, everything that you can do to have no skin exposed. Because obviously when you're moving around out on your boat, your kayak or even a jet ski, it's that bitterly cold breeze up against your skin which can be pretty tough. So that's one of the first things. And then obviously what you really wanna do is you can come out a little bit later during the day. You don't have to be on the water the first thing. Understand the tides understand where to go, take advantage of things like soft plastics and go and fish productive areas in your local grounds. And that makes fishing throughout winter just a little bit easier. Well, it's been a productive start to the morning with some quality fish taken all on soft plastics. We decide to motor on, anchor up and try our luck at some whiting. Oh, that was it, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this. The whiting? Ah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so so now we're starting to get a couple. And this one is a throwback, guys. It's right on 27, but we are not keeping anything that's even remotely close to legal size. I don't know why you'd want to keep one that small anyway. So away he goes. Here we go. Every day of the week. Whiting? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's a nice whiting too. I 
Oh, yep, yep. Pinky. No. Oh, it actually feels like a whiting. Yes. It's a whiting. It's a good whiting, too. Yeah, good yeah, that's a good one. Every day of the week. Once. Oh, there we go. That's, He's a keeper. that's what we're here for. So, that's a nice little King George. Let's do that, see if we can. Whiting. Lift him? Yep, lift him up, mate. Oh, that's a good. There we go. Nice, smaller one. Yeah. Finding the size ones like the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. That feels whiting. Definitely whiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whiting, 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 whiting. Good one. Really good one. Look at that one. That's a better one. Yeah. That's definitely the whiting of the day. There you go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we've come here for today. So that is a beautiful King George whiting. That is a perfect eating size. And you can see it's just taken that little paternoster rig. So you've got the, obviously the little feathers and the hairs on there for a bit of attractant, a little piece of pippy. And I tell you what, if we can get a few more of those, we will be absolutely happy campers today. So that is a ripper. With a feed of whiting on board, we venture into shallower waters in search of squid. Our winter fishing session so far has been very productive and I think things are about to get a whole lot better. What I'm doing now, mate. Well done. Good squid? First one of the day. Well done, mate. Yeah, that's a really nice squid. Uh, do you want the net? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me put this on the ground. That's my Murray cod net. That's your Murray cod. You need the Murray cod net for the squid. Oh, yeah, that's a good squid. Oh, he's a ripper. Oh, yeah. That's a good squid. A narrow squid. There you go. There you go, fishing mad community. <laughs> Not a bad starter for the day. Beautiful squid. Yeah. Very, very nice squid. It's gonna go nice with a few panko breadcrumbs. That's a good one. Yeah. Well done, man. Tartare sauce. Yeah, Mick. This is, man, this is heavy as. Yeah, Mick, this is a good one. Oh, look at the size of this thing. It's on the top. That's a big one. Let's grab that out, man. I put that down in the rod holder for like, oh, watch the brawler, man. Do you want to net it or do you want me to do it? No, nah, you can net it. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's a genuine good one. Go behind him, man. Go behind him. <gasps> go, go. That's it. No, 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 dude. That's it. Lift up. <laughs> that's a good squid. I haven't seen one that big in a long time. All right, well, there you go. That is what winter fishing to me is all about. So it's about staying local, staying warm, and really targeting your bread and butter species. And to be honest, during winter, there's probably not much of a better species to target than your big squid like that. And that is a beautiful, beautiful calamari there. So that size there is fantastic eating. Could feel the weight on it that was just banging on the rod tip. And uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful squid. So if we can catch a few more of those today, we'll be very happy campers. But He's using the, the 3.5 times. So oh, stop. got one. Yeah, no. Get him out. There we go. Yeah, get one, it's okay. All right, there we Good go. Job, mate. Got one. We should have been in here in close squid fishing. Uh, oh, on. On? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, do you want to, oh, you could lift oh, him. I could lift him. Yeah. Nice, mate. There we go. Follow, follow. Oh. See it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. one two. I'm on as well. Oh. I've dropped him. Oh. Get you near. How you, good's my eyesight? Your eyes. You're on, like, on, uh, on. Oh, it's drag. a drag. It's taking drag. <laughs> oh. oh, this one's good. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, see, let me. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to. Remember this spot, mate. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, let's put you just there for a second. That's a nice one. Yes. 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 Ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, but that was in down the wrong <laughs> One. Oh, was that a tap? Yep. Gotcha. Oh, nice one. 
Yeah, yeah nice one. Right, which way? Oh, look at that section. 101 square fishing. Yeah, right at the back of it. Yep. Put one right at the back of that because they're always in pairs. Yeah, bang. There we go. All right, and so that's. Should get hit now. That's a nice know. one. And there you go, guys. So there is another squid. So, uh, throw it. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's I the one that I dropped. Yeah, it's Yep. Mate, we're in prime. Prime, prime, prime grounds, mate. So. Yeah, we got that squid. I think I used it last time with you and I got it. Was that a squid fishing with you recently? Uh, no, not, we haven't done it recently. Oh, we got another one. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Mate, this squid jig is on fire, Mick. That's a nice, oh, that's a nice squid. Look at that. Look at that, guys. So you just gotta, this is where they ink on you. Beautiful. Yeah. Another squid. So we'll put him down. Give me the old Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. So... <laughs> Junk, junky squid trick. Here we go. Yep, definitely. He hasn't come up yet, but he's up. What is that? Is it a tiny one? It's a tiny one. That's all right. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Shit! <laughs> Here we go. Well, these are designer jeans. Designer jeans. <laughs> Do we want to let him go? I've got one. Have you? Yep. The rainbow is on fire, mate. I oh, know, they come next to us and now. Oh, he's a one ten. Oh! Yeah, do you want to? Yeah, do you want to net him? Thanks, bud. Oh, that's it. Lift the bail arm. Oh, that's a good one, man. I will. See, it looked all right at first. That's yeah. Oh, it's better than the other one. Do you want the net? Um, oh, you eat the net. <laughs> Just to the back. Yeah. Oh, Do you want the net? Uh, Feeling confident? I think I'll be able to lift him. It's got a good hook up. It's not huge, but it's bigger than the others. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> I failed to play with it about four or five times before it took it. Can't get it back here. I will, mate. Not the best one, but... Squid's a squid, mate. Oh, yeah. It's alright, I'll just go. There's a little guy, but that's alright, you'll lift him. That's great bait, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get those things near your fingers today, it's so bloody cold. You're up, mate. Oh, mate, that's, it hasn't, that's, that cold snap has just come through this week, so the water... To, oh, it's alright. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I thought that was your line that oh, right. hit me then. Small as well, mate. Geez, there. Uh... Uh, I still get a little feed out of these. Yeah, it's alright. Uh... Don't screw at me because I'm cold. I'm just yeah, there's something going on in there. There's three seals there. These waves are annoying, yeah, so, but you might be right. There might be something. Seal? Yeah, yeah, right in front of us. Uh, look at the waves, mate. So these are like metres. Oh, look at them all. They're circling now. Oh, look at this wave. Hold on. Jesus! Oh! Oh! I don't think six feet away. I know. There they are, look at that. On the surface there, look at that. There's a whole patch of pinkies just swimming under the boat. Let's go around. Oh, they just lost it now, but that's it's crazy, isn't it? They're just getting eaten by old mate the seal. I've but never they're... seen pinky spawn. Ah, <laughs> no, not like that. That's cr oh, there he goes. There's another one. So he's yeah. Oh, there's... look, the snapper jumping out of the water, getting away from him. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. He's right here, and he's chasing. 
whole pack of pinkies on the side. Look at that, there's pinkies everywhere. And the seal is chasing them. That is fascinating. He's gonna come up in a minute. Yeah, mate, there was a huge amount of patch of pinkies there. All these birds, there's seals everywhere, dead giveaway. And what they are doing is they're chasing the pack of snapper or pinkies, which are sitting on the top, and they're obviously not interested in feeding. They're in pure survival mode. It's a nice man, it's a nice fish man. It's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice one though mate. Uh, maybe yeah. little bit of an avalanche of pinkies and then uh, caught this beautiful fish so amazing colors and just love the look of these well this is pretty much the borderline of a pinky or a snapper so this one's just sitting probably at that 40 45 centimeter mark so it's just right on that border beautiful fish this is what would make a great panty a really really beautiful eating size fish so we're just contending with a lot of snags at the moment we're finding all we're doing is re-rigging up every five minutes but we are getting some bites on the board, so we are going to persist and see if we can get an upgrade to that. So there you go, that is a snapper there. So we do have one on the board. Pinky. It's got a little bit of weight to it. That's the best size one so far though. That's actually not a bad fish. Actually, that's quite a nice fish, mate. That's a, uh, that's a very nice fish. Have a look at that for a fish, guys. So obviously that's not the snapper we're after, but that is a beautiful pinky. That is definitely on that 40 centimeter size that well, it makes caught. Beautiful colors, look at those absolutely beautiful spots. Shaking its head. Yeah. Might be a pinky. Big floody maybe. Oh, it's a pinky. Yeah, it's a pinky. There you go. More probably on that pinky size. That's a really nice fish that Mick's caught. Well, that's a wrap everyone and thanks for watching. Really interesting day out here. Absolute mixed bag. Got some flathead, got some squid, got some whiting. It's just great to be out here. Yes, it's winter and yes, it's cold. But you know what? You get out there, you stay local, you stay warm, and you do all of those right things, and you can catch yourself a really good feed of fish around this time of year, and obviously have a really enjoyable day out in the water. That sun's coming down now, so we're about to pack things up. We thank you for your company. Hope that you have a great evening. As always, don't forget to go and check out our members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member. Hope you can go and check that out, and look forward to seeing you out on the water sometime soon. Cheers, everyone.